Hey, welcome back to Curiosity Hub. I'm Ollie Hubbard. So a few weeks ago, it was my birthday. And so Phoebes and I went to the museum. And before you say, pfft, lame, well, pfft, they had a mammoth exhibit, Giants of the Ice Age. Anyway, we walked in and the first sign I read says, please touch all the models. Huh, that was pretty cool. And the second sign says, mammoths are not the ancestors of elephants. Wait, wait, wait. Mammoths are not... What? Phoebe, 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 look. Look, look, look. Mamm mammoths are not the ancestors of elephants. What? So they got me hook, line, and sinker. I explored the rest of the exhibit and I've done some research and here is the story. For millions of years, species were diverging and evolving from a common ancestor in Africa. And all of the species that emerge from that tree are members of the proboscidean order which kind of sounds like a cult or something, but it's easy to remember because a proboscis is kind of like a mini trunk. Uh, but the earliest members of the order may not have even had trunks. So if you have a look at the Moatherium, it was a semi-aquatic and rather attractive animal, but not really a very big trunk. But over millions of years, other members evolved as environmental pressures changed and some of them stayed in Africa, while some spread across Eurasia, and some even traveled into America, across the land bridge that existed back then. So for example, in the early Miocene, which was around 20 million years ago, the ancestors of mastodons broke away and spread out of Africa, while elephants and mammoths weren't even a separate thing yet. But about 15 million years later, in the late Miocene, which is about 5 million years ago from now, Elephants and mammoths began diverging from their common ancestor, and the genus of that common ancestor was Primelephus, literally meaning first elephant. And, uh, and it had four tusks as well, just, uh, yeah, pretty weird. But even then, elephants and mammoths didn't just part their separate ways. The ancestors of African elephants actually split first, and a recent paper even suggests that they spread out of Africa as well, as straight tusked elephants. But either way, only later did the genus for today's Asian elephant and mammoths diverge. Both of them travelled into Eurasia, and the ancestors of modern Asian elephants moved down towards Asia, and diversified further into a range of species while the mammoths also diverged, with species moving all the way into North America and eventually leading to the colossal Colombian mammoths. Some mammoths even got onto some islands and experienced insular dwarfism. So there were literally islands full of dog to cow sized mini mammoths. But of course, it's the beloved woolly mammoths that also emerged throughout Europe. In fact, to bring a sense of reality to all of this, this is Lauba, or love in Russian. She is 42,000 years old and only 30 days old. We think from her teeth that she was born in spring and we found small traces of pollen still in her lungs. We even identified her mother's milk in Luba's stomach. Sadly, she must have gotten stuck crossing a mud muddy riverbed. But the circumstances then played out to perfectly preserve her. And understanding these paths of evolution explains why, when we're trying to bring a baby mammoth like Luba back from extinction with some real-life Jurassic Park business, we actually have to use some Asian elephant DNA. Anyway, I'm, I'm actually pretty keen to hear from you guys if you think we should bring back mammoths. You know, whether the money would be better spent on protecting animals that are going extinct today, or whether such a social animal should even be brought back alone. I mean, it's a, it's a big question, so let me know what you think. I, uh, I really don't know. But anyway, get curious with all the links down below. There's some crazy stuff down there, so... 
I hope you enjoy that and I hope you're doing well. So thanks so much and I'll see you soon. Bless myself.